Hi, welcome to Christy's Camping Spot. I'm Christy. I'm getting a, um, a little late this afternoon, but I'm so excited to be here. Hopefully, um, the internet is going to still stay good for a while, which is awesome. I have a very fun Halloween card to share with you guys today. Kind of a preview of what's to come um, in September. Well, this is September, but I think starting the 9th, I'm going to be doing 13 days of Halloween. So I'll have 13 full days um, of Halloween projects, and I'll be coming live every day to show you guys those. So I'm really excited about getting, doing that, but I just had to play with this paper. So let me go ahead and get started and um, turn you guys down. Let's see here if I can get that to go. Move my... <gasps> Yay! Okay, so, oh my gosh, like I said, it is September, so that means we only have one month left of the celebration, which is so fabulous, celebration, you can um, earn products, we're actually going to use one of those products today, um, we're going to use the beautiful, um, a little piece of the Be Dazzling paper, this is gorgeous paper, it is so fabulous, and this is something that you can get for free, you can choose for free, with a um, $50 order right here. And it just adding a little bit, this goes so far. So this is the card that we're making today with these super cute ghosts from the Cute Halloween Designer Series paper. These are a six by six um, Designer Series paper pack. Um, the Hey Boo is from um, the Cute Halloween stamp set. And um, I've actually used the stamp set, not just for the sediments, but then I've added little ghost so cute and the bundle is on um low inventory because of the fabulous punch so if this is something that you're wanting to get especially for those halloween i've got several things that i'm going to be doing with it um later on in the month um but the punch is actually on back order um i don't use the punch today on our card um, i'm just using the stamp set but oh, the bundle is just so awesome love 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 and then this is the stamp set cutest halloween and it is super cute. Um, it's got the have a fabulous boo, uh, fabulous um, Halloween. Treat yourself, hey boo. And then it has these lovely little faces to make the pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, the kitty cat, the ghost, and the skull. Um, I do it backwards. And we're actually going to use the ghost and the outline of the ghost and his little ghost face with his little hand. He's so cute. Um, and the... Uh, um, have a fabulous Halloween and hey boo. So from the stamp set, that's what we're gonna use, we'll use on the card today. So I uh, love, love, you can find the um, that set. Um, we can, whenever you're looking in your Janu July to December mini catalog, you can always go to the back and look for um, the things, right? So here it says cute, the cutest Halloween. So they have the stamp sets, can look by the um, the dies or the punches um, to find the pages that they're at, as well as their numbers and um, their prices. But they also have the embossing folders, the de designer series papers. So like here's the cute ho cute Halloween paper pack, the um, all the ribbons and embellishments, right, and the tree packages and specialty papers and stuff. So this I love that um, this feature of our mini catalogs. So much easy. Makes it so easy to find everything. So the cutest Halloween, you can pay page 51 of our um, mini catalog. It's really the start of the Halloween stuff. I just love all the Halloween stuff. And they have some gorgeously adorable. I love, love these. Um, these little tombstones. I have so many things for you guys. I cannot wait. We have to start somewhere, right? Okay, so um, here's where you can buy the, the cute Halloween 6x6 designer series paper. We have the cutest Halloween. There's the um, stamp set and the punch, um, which I meant I showed you. There's the punch. And then, of course, you can get the bun. There's the collection where you can get all of it over here, or you can get the bundle price. And that's the stamp set and the punch. So, page 51. So fabulous. Love, love, love. All that stuff. Okay. So, um, for this really pretty purple, I've gone and got a piece of Highland Heather. And I've cut it, this is our eight and a half by 11, and I've cut it at um, four and a quarter, and I've scored it at the five and a half. 
phone folder. And I'm actually going to use, um, let me show you this designer series paper. So I'm only going to use a piece of this fabulous bedazzled just behind the sentiment. But this paper is so fabulous. I don't, I love the bats, which um, I'm so excited about using the bats. But I love every sheet. And what I love about this is that you get so many in, um, in here, so you feel like you can actually do projects with it. But these, oh, are these totes adorbs? And it's got the boo on the back. We've got, um, these ones are the kitties and the pumpkins. And these, of course, you can use your, your punch to punch out. And the back is just this fabulous stripe. We've got the Halloween, um, uh, Halloween, the haunted houses, which is super cute. We've got, um, and then it's got like little boo um, bats, pumpkins, and skulls on the back, ghosts on the back. And I love this skull paper. It has this cute little raven on it. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Totally adorable. But my favorite piece, of course, is these bats. Um, they are so super cute. Ooh, I had it right the right way the first time little vampire bat. Isn't he super cute? Oh my gosh. Totes adorbs, totes adorbs. And the back is just a fabulous pitch black. We got some polka dots on one side and this side just got the orange stripe. Which is super cool. Did I do it too many? Okay, that's right. I showed you the haunted houses. We've got some squigglies and um, this really fabulous stripe. This is actually a great stripe for like birthday. Not necessarily just Halloween. So, and then I think I didn't show you guys the candy corns. Those are all the little candies. And then it has another polka dot, but this one's colors. So this is a, a fabulous pack of six by six. I love it so much. These are so cute. I think, oh my gosh, look at him. He's gobbling candy. So cute. So I had to make a project with this DSP. So adorable. So go ahead and set that aside. Like I said, I needed to use some of this um, bedazzle. And um, I had started to make another project. I'm going to show that later on. Um, this one right here, I'll show you guys a sneak peek where I use that bedazzling um, bedazzle paper with the little ghost. Um, and, but I wanted to do Happy Haunting from Banner Year. And I realized I've lost that, that stamp. So I have it actually on order. It's supposed to be here. <laughs> but I wanted to put the happy haunting on the inside, so I realized I don't have that stamp set yet. That stamp, so I can't. I have the stamp set, but I lost that one stamp, of course, because that's how it always is. Um, so you guys will look forward to seeing that one later. Okay, so for this one, I'm using that gorgeous purple, and I just used a piece of black, basic black as a um, a layer. And this is the five and three eighths by four and an eighth. It's just a basic layer. And then I've got um, my four by um, five and a quarter to go on it. So I'm just going to just put it on there just like that. Oh, my gosh. And these ghosts are so cute. You don't want to do too much because you want to hide how super cute they are. I just, I chose the doors. So this paper, when I cut it the, in the six by six, um, when you cut the six by six, what did I do with the big purple piece? Piece of purple here. When you cut it, um, I cut it out the four and a half, the four by five and a, a quarter. So it leaves this, this piece right here. And because you cut it like this and then this piece, that's actually the piece that I turn over right here goes. So we're going to actually put on this side of the paper. And then I have a whole strip here that I can use for another project, which I'm very excited about. So, um, I really wanted to do, I wanted to showcase these ghosts as much as I can. And I love it when I show a little bit of the back of the paper. It's super cute. But I also love these because it's purple. I love, love, love these um, uh, ribbons. So let's see. Can I put it down? Yep, okay. I love these ribbons. So um, this is the Highland Heather um, Gross Grain Ribbon. And it is so soft and fabulous. Like, I love, I mean, it's got the sparkle. So usually when they have that sparkle, it's super, it's super hard, but it's not. It's so pretty, but it's just stiff enough that it looks great behind. And then um, this is, we've had this, this is in the base, and the, they're both in the annual catalog, I'm sure. But the, the plastic, the black, organdy it 
glittered organy ribbon. We have a new white one that matches it. But I love the black. and It's in the annual catalog. Now it has like silver specks in it. But I thought it looked really good even with more of the champagne color um, that's in, that's with this one. And let's see, we got nice. It's like one, two, three, four, five. So it's about five, I get about five inches of each um, of these two. And I'm going to actually put these behind here and then layer this one on top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to um, use glue to put... Um, this super cute paper onto the black layer. I love this cute Halloween. All this paper is super cute. Boy, I hope everyone is having a great Thursday. I was just going along with my blog. I was totally um, ready to go um, wa binging some um, Stargirl. I don't know if you guys, what, what you guys are watching on TV, but um, I love Stargirl. So I love the CW, the Disney, or not Disney, the CWDC um, shows. I love The Flash. And so I was just catching up on, I find that I end up <laughs> binging a lot of them and watching them a lot. Um, let's see, let me put it there. Yeah. Um, several episodes at a time. So I was, busy, you know, working on my blog, moving pictures. Having a great time. Then I looked up and realized, oh no, Uta Nanny, I was late. Um, which, of course, always happens when you feel like you've got plenty of time to do stuff. <laughs> and then you realize, oh, now you've totally lost it. Now you're totally late. So, apologize for being late today. I thought I was all ready. And then I came back to my desk and realized that I had stuff everywhere I needed to kind of pick it up. <laughs> and then load all the programs nothing went right especially then when you get into a hurry but star girls still it's really good i love luke wilson i always watch that anyway look how pretty that is ah love 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 okay so then i'm going to go ahead and just um glue it down onto and if you can see i use this the the seal the stamp and seal um i usually you can use glue dots too because i know the stamp and seal is actually on back order right now if you don't have any but I love to use it to put my ribbon down. I always use it to put the ribbon down. Um, I find that it works so much better to do that, um, at least for me, because I don't like to wrap it. I can totally not wrap it and do the uh, completely around and then like do a bow or whatever. Um, I always um, cut mine and then, um, and then if I was gonna put a bow, I'd put it on top. But I'm not putting a bow on this one. So isn't that cute? So, oh my gosh, it's cute just like that, right? Um, so I really like adding just a little bit of the other, the other side of the DSP. So, um, because I cut it at one time, so whenever you, um, your cardstock or when you cut your DSP, if it feels like there's like a ridge right here, just use your um, bone folder gently, um, flatten that out. Oh my gosh, this ghost is so cute. I'm not sure you have it. I just did it a little bit over the top. So I actually have um, the ribbon wrapped around the black piece too. And I, and, but then this is only cut at four. So it just goes to um, edge to edge over the purple, um, the cute Halloween piece. So it kind of is wider and then it goes down a little bit. It's wider and then it goes down. I kind of like the way that looked. If you don't like that, if you want it to all match up, then just wrap your purple piece with the ribbon so that it matches. Um, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so there, that's it. That's all I have to do for that, the front. And then we can stamp our, um, our sentiment. So it's about one and a half by um, seven eighths. So here's just the piece of the seven eighths that I had, a um, piece of scrap. But I'm just going to use my, um, I find that I can, uh, you can either cut it already or you can just cut it down with your paper snips um, when you know. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I get that nice and black. Ooh. And if you don't have, what did I do with my, I don't know what I did with my small one. This is our um, paper, paper piercing mat and 
when you use photopolymer, which this the cute Halloween is, it is better to use one of your um, mats to get the best impression. And I usually, um, I have a one that I have that's like cut in half. It fits my desk a little bit better. But um, I wrap mine with a piece of my grid paper so that it, um, I can, because I stamp off, as you can tell it's messy. But um, if you don't have one of these, you can use a piece of um, cardboard that comes like in your paper pumpkin. I really love it. It's, it. I think they're like five or six bucks. They're not very expensive, but it's really awesome to have. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trim this down. Let's see, it turned out really nice. And I had already cut a piece of my bedazzle um, paper. And I wanted to mention too, when you guys get this paper, if you get this paper and you cut it down, see how thick it is? So I have um, on my desk, I usually have two... Um, well, I broke my 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 um, paper trimmer, so I've been keeping my little um, paper score in here because it keeps falling out every time I do it. But I also keep on my desk is see how this is a little black mark because this is um, one that's starting to dull, and I've changed it out to a new one. But when you use the when you cut this like our glitter paper, it's good to use a dull one. So keep one that is like not good to on your black paper. You know, it's starting to shred your cardstock a little bit because it works great still for these really heavy cardstocks like um, the Bedazzle paper or the our glitter paper, which is a little bit thicker because it, they can dull your blades. And now that it's already dull, it's it's okay that it uses and it cuts it cuts fine. I also would turned it this way so that it cuts. So when I'm doing it, it cut it cut a little easier for me. So um, this piece is I think it's like two. Right, this is um, one and three fourths by one. So, um, and this is actually a piece that I just had when I was making this card. Right, this is just the the other piece of the six by six. Right, that I just cut off. So I always save these little pieces because you never know when they come in handy. It it works so perfect for this to mount um, as a layer to mount this hey boo, and it's so cute. You guys see that? It's just so sparkly, so sparkly. But I wanted to pop, to pound, um, pop it up, and so I'm going to actually use our black Stampin' Dimensionals. So I don't know if you guys saw these in um, the catalog, but there's big ones and mini ones. I actually have some big ones on. Um, they come in a, um, a pack. Um, I think I get two sheets of the little ones and two sheets of the big ones. I've actually used up all of my big ones doing a project and didn't realize I have it back. I have them on order, and it's supposed to come later next week but the mini ones work just as well but I love using um, the black especially on um, Halloween stuff um, also I think on my thank you card that I made uh, for this month's thank you card I actually stamped the scarf that's in the for the pig and let's see, I think I have it although it's, it's in plastic let me get it out I'll show you so one of the cool things about the, having the black, if you've never seen that before, so I, I actually um, I stamped the pig on the designer series paper. This is, I think, the Peaceful Prince. It's um, one of the free freebies. And I stamped the pig on there, and then I just fussy cut out his scarf so that you can put it on top. And um, if I had put white, you could see the white underneath there because it's so thin. Um, but with the black, you can't see it, and it looks so much better. So I love having the black dimensional, especially if you're doing something um, with that uses black as a primary color. Um, I just think it looks so awesome. And then there you go. That's, that's this month's thank you card. Um, anyway, so again, I've got them on here. Do do do. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put it on here. Now you can use glue. I actually am gonna use some tear and tape to go on the back of this because it is the it is a little bit heavier and we are um it's not really raining yet although it feels very stormy but we're really humid i know that weather is really bad <laughs> everywhere um we've got the the fire out of control in california we've got there's that, that very scary flooding in new york city and new jersey 
And then, of course, um, all the damage in um, Louisiana. It's just all so scary. But we have humid, but it's humid here today, which means my black will smear and my glue takes much longer to um, set up. So I'm using the tear tape, which I love. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on there so it kind of goes over that. Um, both all of the ribbons and the designer series paper and it just adds just a little bit of sparkle which is pretty awesome so then also to add more sparkle I'm going to use my Wink of Stella I love Wink of Stella and I'm just going to add a little bit to the ghost's cheeks on the DSP you of course can do this um, before you put it down but I always end up just doing it afterwards so cute love these ghosts. Even though this guy doesn't have a cheek on my father. This is so cute. So cute. Okay, there we go. <gasps> Sweet! Okay, so now we're going to, so so far we've only had to stamp the um, the boo, the, the sentiment, but I'm going to do some stamping on the inside and on the back as well. So let's go ahead and do what I'm going to put on the back. So I've cut up some strips and these are half inch strips. Um, by four and um, I could do two things you can just put them um, with the pick which side that has all the cute little smiley ghosts or you can just put the boo and I've actually found that the boo works better looks better now not um, this one definitely <laughs> has I'm going to keep these smiley ones for another one in case I do it on a different color but I think the purple just washes out and it just looks better with the black. So I'm going to go ahead and use the boo side of the DSP. And it actually like pulls it in. It looks like it. Black and white. <gasps> so pretty. Okay. And then on this, the inside, what we're going to use is the Have a Fabulous Halloween. And so I'm actually going to, I'm going to stamp that in the back. So you know how I love to stamp the stuff on the back because I don't want it to be naked. So I am gonna ink that up really good. Actually not on camera, there we go. So I'm just gonna stamp that. Just like that. So cute. And then of course I always add my um my uh, Stampin' Up logo on the back as well. And this is the one that I've got from handmade from you put that there and then I want to stamp my um, ghost and I'm going to use the outline right here so they have it where you can fill in the whole thing or just the outline so I've got the outline mount mounted and I'm going to just stamp him just like this now if you're going to stamp a bunch of ghosts out and you want to punch them out make sure you play with it first um, to make sure that when you stamp them you have it turned exactly the right way because the the punch is the swoop of the of the ghost goes a specific way so that it's easy to you don't want to have to cut your paper so you can get it and then this is his little face <gasps> so cute oh my gosh okay so then I'm going to show you guys so in um if you look at the DSP let's see if I can, let me get a big piece of it up you see how the ghost has like little he has like little, it's Highland Heather speckles as well as Flirty Flamingo speckles. So you can do that with, with a dauber. Um, I have some sponge. I have a bunch of these sponges. I'm going to actually use my Flirty Flamingo, um, the light Flirty Flamingo Stampin' Blend. And I'm going to just give him a little, use this little guy, a little, a couple of a little cheeks so he matches the front. And then I'm going to use the Flirty Flamingo. And I'm just going to ball up a little bit and get some Flirty Flamingo. And I'm just going to barely add a little bit of color to my ghost. There's my pink one. And add a little bit. So I know that we don't have these sponges. You can use a dauber. You probably have a sponge and just add, I'm just adding those little, those little, um, 
a little bit so that it kind of matches in the front. How cute is that? And then, of course, I'm going to add some more. I'm going to add the Lucas Delatis cheeks. Okay, so that's on this side. And then now we're going to build our inside. And so our inside, I'm going to use a piece of Whisper White right here. And it is, I usually do my insides at 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and an eighth. And again, I'm, I need to, I want to use the, um, have a fabulous Halloween. So fun. Get nice and inked. Put that on there. Just like that. So awesome. I always go right to my chamois. And then I'm going to put my um, piece of DSP down on the bottom. And, oh, I love these. I'll use Use this one. Did I put that one on the back? I did. Okay. Need some glue. Okay. Put that there. And now I'm going to stamp my ghost. I'm just going to stamp my ghost right here. Add my little face with his little hands. So cute. And I, I didn't get out my um, pad again. I definitely want to, especially when you have really um, big, bold, um, like the Bufa has these really large letters. You want to make sure you get them the coverage. So I always get that out. But I have a pad here, so I don't need it as much. But definitely remember, even when you're doing this, to get out the... Um, to get out your little uh, Stampin' Mat if you want the best of impression. So I'm also going to add color to him the same way I did in the back. So I'm going to use the light Stampin' Blend Flurry Flamingo for his little cheeks. And then I'm going to um, add the colors. I'm going to do the Flurry Flamingo. Just add it just a little bit. Not a lot. And then the Highland Heather. Oh, it's so cute. Let's see if I can do a little bit more from the top. There we go. Sweet. All right. And then we need, of course, more Wink of Stella. He's so cute. You guys see that? How cute is that? So super cute. Okay, so then let's go ahead and glue this in. I love Halloween. I'm so excited. This is such a super cute, um, fun Halloween stamp set in this DSP. Oh my gosh. I love, I mean, I can't. There's just so many. It's just so adorable. It's adorbs. So totes adorbs. Look at that, how cute. And then we can add some matte um, dots on the back. This is actually uh, when you spend $50 in my online store this month, we'll send you a free pack of these dots because I love them so much. Perfect for Halloween projects or um, actually for lots of things. Love them. They're so fun. And there we go. Muy bien. How quick. So this is a super quick and a totes adorbs. How adorable that is. Love, love, love. And you get some stamping in. Adding that little ghost. So cute. So cute. So easy. Love, love, love. And uh, the DSP does all the work. I just added the, the sparkle of the ribbon and that little bit of that dazzle. That, that DSP this um, specialty paper, what is it called? Is it specialty paper? Yeah, specialty paper, the Bedazzling. It is really, it's really cool. And it's really thick, very sparkly. Just a little bit goes so far. It's fantabulous. Okay, awesome sauce. All right, so don't forget that um, we, the celebration of course is going on now. And if you join, yay, if you want to join, you can pick one of these fabulous bundles um, 
for free and add it to your starter, our starter kit, which is always our best deal, which is the $99, and you get to pick $125 worth of product, and you get free shipping, which is fantastic. And, and on top of that, now you get a, to pick one of the bundles from the January, uh, the July to December mini catalog, which is such a great deal, as well as the, Har the Haunts and Harvest, which is our next paper pumpkin. It is um, available until September 10th. You can subscribe, and at, you can get either the $21 or $22 um, with just get it subscribed so you get it every month, or you can, of course, um, buy a pack of three of them in my online store, and then you could um, use that to, to get a free product like the Bedazzling. Um, and then the code, when you get that code, it gets emailed to you. And then you go on to your um, Paper Pumpkin account and you log in and activate that code. It's how you make sure you get, you have to make sure you, if you want this, this set, when you do it, even in the online store, you need to make sure you activate that code before September 10th. And it makes 12 treat boxes. Um, you can choose, it comes with enough stuff to either make um, them apple, pumpkin, or jack-o'-lanterns. So um, lots of stuff. Oh, so there will be lots and lots of extra pieces. So we'll have lots of extra um, alternatives, which is very exciting. And then also because it's, it is September and it's the last month of celebration, um, when you buy anything in my online store, I will send you a, um, an email link to the Celebration Mega Bundle. So it's 39 to tutorials, $20 value. You, um, you could also order, order it um, in my, um, on my website under the uh, purchase for per, tutorials for purchase. But the um, it's 39 bundle, uh, 39 tutorials that just use stuff. Um, it's the complete focus is on um, the celebration. So um, with products from the August and September 2021 celebration brochure. So it's a pretty awesome. So if you order anything, you can get that for free from me. And it comes with two little links, and I email it to you, and you can um, download those. But 39, it's like over 200 pages. It's pretty fabulous. Anyway, I hope you guys um, liked today's cards. They're so cute and so easy. This DSB makes it so, so easy. So easy. So, oh, and if you guys need anything in, make sure that you use my host code, um, my, ho my September host code, and you can buy in my online store. I can send you um, that free email um, tutorial as well as if, it, if you spend over $50, you can get the free black, um, yeah, it's matte black dots. I always get those up. I uh, hope you guys had uh, have a great rest of your Thursday. I'm, I'm going to go see Ten Rings later tonight. So exciting. So exciting. I love Thursdays. Um, not just because I get to see you guys, but also <laughs> we get to go back to the movie theater, which I'm very excited about. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. I know it's a long weekend right? uh, for um, Monday. It's a holiday. So I will see you guys back here next Thursday. And happy crafting. Bye.